Hello again and welcome back to Chris. So what are we doing today, Kathleen? Stuff your ball. Stuff my ball. We're doing a shopping haul. Uh, similar to my Blu-ray haul, apart from this is actually some stuff I bought at the shops recently. Let's get started. Beginning with the latest game I have bought, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. What can we say about this? It's good. Fun. I used to absolutely love the original Lego Star Wars games. Uh, the first one and the second one with the original trilogy on the PlayStation 2. I uh, didn't really bother with Lego Star Wars 3. Might get into it sometime, but they brought out just recently, nearly a year after The Force Awakens. I uh, played about three or four hours of it, about into the third or fourth mission, because each mission's about an hour long. I've uh, been playing it cooperatively with my little Kathleen here, and it really is a lot of fun. Like, I love the Lego games. I've been playing Lego movie uh, video games, Lego Dimensions, Lego superheroes recently, and I like them all, but surprisingly, this one does add a few things to the series. Like, just small things even, like taking cover when shooting. It adds a whole layer to it that you didn't really get. So that's the Lego Star Wars Force Awakens. What do we have next? Drive. Blu-ray. This is actually a Drive Steelbook. Uh, from France, I think. Uh, imported from France. France. Um, Jack actually gave me this because he didn't want it anymore. Uh, I think the reason he gave me it was because of the the size. You see how it's compared to the UK really, uh, UK Blu-ray and DVD releases. The title logo is usually the other way around. On this steelbook from France, they have it. They have it 180 degrees the other way around, basically, and it really looks a mess on your shelf. But the still looks alright. Not a huge fan of it. Visually, it doesn't really represent the film Drive to me. I think Drive is a much more visually stunning film with a lot more variance on colours and stuff than this. And this one kind of tries to sell it as like a... I don't know if you can see that. But it kind of tries to sell it as like a... An action film almost. Like an action thriller. And it isn't really that at all. I'll sit back down now. What do we have next, Kathleen? Got this yesterday on our... Late night trip to Big Tesco. Tesco. Down. Tesco Extra. I like to go at Tesco because they have a lot of things reduced most of the time. Uh, I get a lot of my I get a lot of my T-shirts there. Uh, I'm not really what. I get a lot of toys. I mean collectibles from there as well from time to time. Mainly Star Wars related stuff. And this time I got. Darth Vader and Ahsoka from Star Wars Rebels. Like I said in one of my previous videos, I am yet to see Rebels. I'm, more, I'm still currently getting into the Clone Wars. So I know Ahsoka and I really like Ahsoka. And like I said in one of my previous videos, I really wanted an Ahsoka action figure. But like I said then, trying to get hold of a decent Ahsoka figure is quite pricey, to say the least. Especially when you want something like the Black Series. <laughs> Cry. That's how I feel inside when I try to buy an Ahsoka figure. With it being a cat, an animated TV series, you of course get Darth Vader represented in more of his cartoon form. Don't know if you can see that, but his mask is very much so represented as it is in the animated series instead of in the film. So if you want a Darth Vader and a Ahsoka figure, definitely go for it. It's pretty cheap. I got it pretty much almost half the price it regularly goes for, especially including on the internet. Like, you can't get it this cheap on the internet. It's a 3.75 inch 2-pack. I think it's pretty great for the price. What? 2-pack. Last but not least, hey. We have bb Didn't know they made these, but... A cushion. It's a kid's cushion, apparently. That's just a, a guideline, isn't it? Yeah. Of course we can have these. I might start putting it on my chair when I'm not there. Putting him on putting him on my chair, sorry, him. Let's take a moment to appreciate BB8. Cushion BB8. Sitting on my chair. Hey. Arguably one of the Best new characters introduced in the Force Awakens. Got a new replacement for Kathleen. 
So now it'll be Chris and BB-8. So to make this video even longer, let's see what else we can add on to it. To begin with, can you see? Yes. To begin with, let's see what we can do with dry steelbook. Follow me, come on. Can you see this? Putting it into my steelbook collection. Putting my DVD steelbooks. Right, okay. What can we do next? What about the Force Awakens? Where can we put that? There. What do we have next? Darth Vader and Ahsoka. Where can we put them? Star Wars Rebels 3.75 2 pack. Wow. What have we got left? We've got BBA. Where can we put them? There. That's not meant to be here. So there! We have it. Join me next week, or oh, in my next video. What day is it? There might be another video this week. Uh, might have one next week. Uh, we should have one next week. But if not next week, we'll also have one this week, including next week. So, thanks for joining me and my new co-host, BB8. Catch you next week. Well, in a few days. Next week or a few days.